What's up guys? I am at home right now in my living room. Got all my couch stuff pushed over there. We're going to be going over its bottom workouts. This is something you guys can do at home. It's primarily abs and then also going to be hit. So basically we're going to be doing a high intensity movement for 45 seconds, resting for 15 seconds, and then jumping into a ab movement for 45 seconds, resting. We're going to be doing that. This is basically going to take you 10 minutes. We're then going to throw a little bonus round at you guys. So Total is going to be 12 minutes. You can go through it two or three times if you want to, if it's not enough, and go 24 or 36 minutes. So it's going to be a lot of work if you do that. So we're just going to go through one round. It's going to be a total of 12 minutes, always working for 45 seconds, resting for 15. So if you have a timer or a Tabata app, I suggest using one of those. The reason I like these workouts is because it gives us an opportunity to target abs. And we're going to be doing different workouts. We're going to be making sure that we do some twisting. Um, we're going to be targeting some lower abs, some obliques. So basically making sure that we're working the abs from all different angles. And we're going to keep that heart rate elevated, which means we're going to be burning more calories, more fat in the process. This is a fun way to train abs because it's high intensity. Mentally, you're always checked into it. So without further ado, let's jump into the first exercise. <laughs> Alright guys, first exercise is just going to be a heel tap, bringing the knees up, let's go, let's go, right here, keep the knees to go fast, back and forth, again we're going to 45 seconds, or you can go high knees, you want to just touch the knees, I like touching those heels, definitely going to mean my knees are coming all the way up, you can go back and forth if you want to, or if you just need to be here, you can go here, whatever you can, get it done. Next up, ground to overhead touches. Here, hop it up. Just so a squat, tap and go up. This is ensuring that we get all the way down, all the way up. Again, we have the ab movement, and then we have really a movement that's just going to be designed to get our heart rate through the roof. And if you want, you can speed these up, you can jump higher. That's up to you, even if you're just here. That's fine too, all the way down, all the way up. This is about you and yourself today. Pushing yourself, woo! Legs are burning. Two, one. 15 seconds rest. We're gonna be back on our back for our next ab movement, which is gonna be flutter kicks. Hands. Underneath, I'm just gonna be right here. 12 inches off with my feet, keeping my legs straight, my lower back pressed into the mat. I'm not arching my back. Lower back is pressed into the mat. 
Shoulder breathing. Good work. Ten minutes can have a profound effect on your day. If you do this at the beginning of your day, it's going to set you on a positive path for the rest of the day. Let's go. Keep it up. If you're like me, maybe you'll switch it. Stop going scissor. One over the other. Try not to let those feet touch the ground. Two. One. Time. 15 seconds. We're back on our feet. I'm already sweating. We got walkouts. Walkouts are gonna look like this. Slight bend in the knee. Walk it out, plank position. Walk it back, stand up. Plank position, stand up. We're recruiting hamstrings here. Lower back, abs, a little bit of shoulders here. Good. Stand it up. Anytime we're bending over like this, we're also making it harder for ourselves to get deep breath. The reason they tell you always to stand up when you're having a hard time breathing, it's the easiest way to get air into those lungs. You start putting it in a position like this, it's harder to breathe. Last one. Good work. This is about where I want my heart rate right now. It's jacked, it's elevated, it's hard for me to talk to. That's what I want. Next up, alternating toe touches. Get nice and tall, touch that leg. Nice and tall, touch that leg. If you want to make it a little bit harder, don't come all the way back down. Stay right here. A little bit of hip flexor on this one, as well as abs. Ooh, hey. Burning off all of that quarantine snacking. Let's go. Two, one. Ooh, hey. Yes, sir. 15 seconds. It's going to come awful fast. All right, moving on to the next one here going to be your basic jumping jack right here. I think in the UK and Australia, they call them star jacks. You can go here, here. I prefer to go up and over the head. 45 seconds here. We can pick it up, pick that speed up and clap. This is our heart rate, our heart rate getter. Go after it right now. Keep it going. Keep it going. It's actually a good little shoulder part too. Come on now. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake everything out. We'll be on our mat. You can see pretty much we're alternating in the standing position and on our mat. Reverse crunch. Hands go underneath your butt again, knees to the chest. So it's kind of like the leg raise, those knees come all the way up. If you want, you can throw a leg lift into it, knee to the chest, and then up. I'm going to stick right here. For those lower abs. Now we got body drops. Body drops can be real simple. Kind of an easier movement compared to a burpee, but similar idea. Move to here, hand goes down, press back up, hand comes up. Again, you decide what you want your push up to look like. 
It might be right here. It might be right here. That's just fine. If you need to go to your knees, go to your knees. But don't start going down until that hand goes down. You can speed it up. Good work. Last one. That's our heart rate part. Next up, we got our plank position. Hips side to side. Plank position right here. You can see I'm not sagging, but I'm not up in the air. You're right here, controlling that side to side. I don't want to see this. We're not resting here. We're just going nice and steady. Side to side. Keep it going. At any time if you need to, come back to this plank position right here. Keep it going. Last round before our bonus. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. I was a little late with the timer. Oh, good work. Give yourself now a minute rest. Meet me back here. We got one bonus round. A few moments later. Bonus round. Gave you a minute rest. What we got now, bear crawls for 45 seconds, rest for 15, and then candlestick roll-ups. This will give you 12 minutes of high intensity and abs here. Again, if you're feeling frisky, do another round of it. It's going to be 24 minutes. If you're feeling real crazy, do 36 minutes. That'd be three rounds. So let's jump into it. Bear crawls. In that bear crawl position. We did these almost every single day. I'll bring you to loser. Great overall workout for the body. Going to target legs, back, shoulders, triceps. That backwards bear crawl is rough. Just keep moving. Whatever you gotta do. I'd always tell everyone I'm the biggest loser. If you keep moving, you're winning. Just keep moving. It's gonna get tough. Just move. Even if it means crawling on your hands and knees. Two, one, tie. Shoulder to burn. Candlestick roll-ups. Get ready for it. It's coming at you. Start these out. Nice tall position. Two, one, here. You might have to take a step back like that. Definitely generating a lot of force in the abs. You're nice and tired right now. You want to get lazy, but you can't on this one. Last one. That is 12 minutes. Your abs will be on fire. Your heart rate's going to be jacked. If you need to, take a few minutes and do another round. Maybe do it later on today. When you're feeling your breathing, start to get really taxed. So when you stand up, open up that airway. Pat yourself on the back. That's a tough 12-minute 12, 12 workout. Let me know how many rounds you do. I'm going to do one more later on today out in that sun. Thank you, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what kind of bodyweight workouts you want to see next time. We'll see you soon.